Like the video and subscribe in the next 2.7 seconds, or every rare test you open will be a purple pistol and medkit. What is going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to place better and even win money in the upcoming Fortnite tournaments. These tournaments include Cash Cups, DreamHack, and even Trio FNCS next season. But before I get into the video, if you are not subscribed, go hit that subscribe button. Almost 90% of you guys watch my videos are not subscribed and it's 100% free, so just go click it. And if you'd like, you can go ahead and follow me on my socials. They'll all be linked in the description. And one last thing, if you want to support me even more, you can use code Milano when you buy any skins in the item shop. I would really, really appreciate it. But without further ado, let's jump right into the video. All right, so the first tip I have for you guys is to study the format of the tournament you're playing. Take close note of how the points are given. Every tournament is different, and some reward eliminations more than placement, and some are more placement based. For example, the cash cups start giving placement at top 25, whereas DreamHack starts giving placement as far back as top 50. It is so important to know when big placement points will be given out, so do whatever you can to keep yourself alive and get those free points. So definitely consider adjusting your play style to the format of the tournament you're playing. The next tip I have for you is to obviously practice, but you want to practice correctly. You may think that playing stacked scrims 24-7 with Storm Surge every game would be the best practice, but in reality it's not. Not every tournament game you play will be super stacked. In most of the upcoming tournaments, only the very top 10 or so players win money. So some of the players realize they have no chance and don't take the game seriously. This means you could get 10 to 20 player endgames instead of the 40, 50 player endgames that playing scrims will give you. So my advice is to practice playing some less stacked games and mix some arena games into your practice routine and take them seriously. Play like you are playing for money, but also practice playing different play styles. Play like you're behind on points and need a few more to win money or even qualify for the next round of a tournament. W key some games, but also play some games for hard placement. Also, when I say W key, I don't mean take every single fight you see and exploit into every box. Take smart fights that you know you can win and put yourself in the best position to win every fight. Don't be dumb and rage because you got one tapped after jumping into a box of a kid with full health. Play smart, but also play aggressive. I also made a video on how to effectively W key, so go ahead and check that out if you'd like. I'll link it here in the top right of your screen. This next tip I'm pretty sure came from Mr. Savage, but if you've ever played a stacked scrim or even made it to the finals of a tournament, you know how laggy endgames can be. A lot of you probably warm up tunneling on your zero ping creative server or just 1v1ing your friend, and then you get into the game and it feels like you're on 200 ping because of how bad the servers are. So prepare for that bad lag and warm up on a server that gives you more ping than you're used to. Practice tunneling and doing the common edits that you would pull off in a real game. This is without a doubt one of the best ways to warm up for a tournament you know will be stacked. We all know Fortnite servers aren't the best and have no plans of being fixed, so we're going to have to adapt. Warm up on higher ping and you'll be ready for those super laggy endgames. So for this next tip, I saw one of my friends McCanada do to truly practice the format is that he would set a timer for however long the event that he was practicing for and then try to play the max amount of games allowed in that time frame. This will truly help you prepare for the time constraints of the event and test your endurance of playing competitively for two or three hours straight. I know it sounds silly, but playing six to 10 competitive Fortnite games in a row can be very draining. Therefore, do not be afraid to take breaks in between games. Get up, go walk around, get some fresh air, do whatever you gotta do to get your mind ready for the next game. Unknown Army, one of the best cash cup players, limits himself to three games per hour. So if he dies off spawn three times in 20 minutes, then he waits 40 minutes to play the next game. Another thing that Canada did was that after he got done practicing, he would go back and watch how he died and write down the cause of his death and something he could work on to prevent dying the same way again. He would also tally the points he would have gotten given the format of the tournament he was preparing for. I would recommend to do this over a span of a few days and compare your progress. Set a point goal for yourself and keep working at it until you reach it. This leads me to my next tip, which is to not get tilted. Yes, I know getting sniped in the head from 250 meters may make you want to smash your keyboard or controller, but if you want to be the best, you have to win the mental game. You cannot let one game throw you off. Even this past weekend, Reverse 2K tweeted out that he got headshot sniped with six crash pads and a launch pad with 80 people left. He then shakes it off and comes back to win the next game with four kills to basically solidify his spot into the FNCS solo grand finals. You cannot let one bad game or bad RNG ruin your whole tournament. Like I said before, take a break if you have to. Playing with a bad mindset will not win you tournaments. Have confidence in yourself and play one game at a time. My next tip is also pretty obvious, but that is to play as many tournaments as you can. It doesn't matter if it's hype night or a squad tournament. Any tournament you play will help get you comfortable in those high pressure situations 
and give you confidence in future tournaments. The more experience you have, the less you will choke when your games matter the most. Then after you're done playing and practicing, VOD review yourself and not just your fights. Review your rotations and pick out mistakes that you can avoid in the future. Also, don't just watch yourself. It can be so helpful to watch top tier pros. For any larger tournaments, you can actually go into the compete tab and watch entire games. I'll show you how to do it here. Watch how the best pros loot your landing spot and rotate out of it. Watch which fights they take and which fights they don't take. Watch how they get storm surge. Take note of things such as where they base up, what materials they build out of, who they shoot at, when they go for refreshes, the type of loadout they carry, how they use their mobility, and even how they recycle mobility. These guys play the game 12 hours a day and you have free access to their strategies and techniques. Take advantage of that. If you are not good at VOD reviewing, I would recommend watching some experienced analysts and VOD reviewers. My personal favorites and the best in my opinion are Resub, Aussie Antics, Fala TW, and Monster Deface. I will link all their channels in the description down below. Also, I know Aussie Antics is now going to do viewer submitted VOD reviews so you could even submit your games to him and he could possibly review them for you and point out all the mistakes that you make so that you can learn and improve. Now, before I get to my last tip, if you did make it this far in the video, I wanna say a big thank you to you. So go ahead and comment the word cash down below. So hopefully this video helps you in cash cups and tournaments and maybe you can even win some cash. Also, I reply to almost every single comment. So if you have any feedback or ideas for future videos, please let me know in the comments. Back to the tips though. The last thing I wanna point out before I end the video is that playing creative 24 seven and getting mechanics like clicks will not make you win cash cups and tournaments. Yes, having mechanics can be helpful, but in end games when there is so much going on, your triple edits and phase sway high ground retakes will not help you. Practice scrims and grind arena. Also, most scrim servers have a ranking ladder that you can climb up by either placing well in tournaments or consistently playing well in scrims. And the higher you climb up the ladder, the better practice you will get, which in turn will prepare you better for those high stakes tournaments. If you want more information on how to join scrims, and play them correctly, I made a whole series on it called Scrims for Dummies. So check that out if you'd like. But that is going to be all for this video. I want to throw some gameplay up here of me playing either a tournament, pub, or whatever. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed. But until then, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.